It's time now for the weekend rundown, helping you plan for the weekend ahead and joining us to help sort through some of the events you shouldn't miss this weekend is Danny from the Luke and Howe Morning Show on WLLR. Good morning, Danny. Good morning, Devin. Good morning, Andrew. How's it going? It's going great. Look, I, you know, our studio has been in progress. I think what I'm going to start doing now is broadcasting from different locations and just surprise you every day. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Yes, we love a toss up. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> just it we roll with the punches anyway, right? Yes, that's, that's right. It's too early to yeah. care. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, it's brighter over there. And hey, we have a, a bright weekend of events that's going to be taking place. Our first event is the Dia de los Muertos Parade and Party in Moline that's going to be happening this weekend. Now, of course, this is also called Day of the Dead, and there's also going to be a fiesta. It's a Mexican holiday, and it honors loved ones who have passed. Now, the events will be Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Mercado on 5th location in Moline, but the parade starts at 2 p.m. outside of the Vibrant Arena, and this will be the third year for the festivities, and there will be Latin music, food trucks, vendors and kids activities it's just fun for all and you love how they get go all out for it right get creative those costumes are so impressive oh yeah i love it yes awesome and always well attended yes that looks like a good time and what are you talking about well, we're going to kind of get you in the giving spirit a little early here because, of course, we all know what happened in areas of western North Carolina with Hurricane Helene. And even though it's been weeks since that disaster occurred, that area is still reeling. So there's going to be a fundraiser here in Milan that will take place on Sunday. This is from 12 to 4 at Luli's Restaurant and Bar. That'll be on 10th Avenue West in Milan. There's going to be raffle baskets, a 50-50 raffle, live music, a silent auction, Cash donations will also be accepted and all of the proceeds will be going to victims of Helene in Western North Carolina, specifically in that area. Now get this, for just 12 bucks, you can get a homemade meal that consists of pulled pork, coleslaw, macaroni salad, potato salad, and desserts. What a deal. Wow. Um, and if you're looking for the regular food menu that's at that place, uh, that'll be regularly starting at four. So what a way to fill yourself up with some good, homemade food and support to the ongoing relief effort in Carolina. Yeah, you just sold us. I know, it makes me so hungry. You right? had me at macaroni salad right there. <laughs> there it is, yes. Yeah. yeah, and the pulled pork, oh yeah, Luli's always does it great. Yeah, they've gone through, you know, these people are going through so much, their lives now have yes. changed and it's just incredible of what our area is trying to do to try to help them. We were talking about a tree care company yes. from our area that's been down there for weeks now. So it's just wonderful to, of the outreach. Well, speaking of food, you also are talking food, Danny. Let's also start with the Self Help Enterprises Pancake Breakfast in Sterling. Yeah, I have like a billion pancake breakfasts going on. And I literally, uh, if I went to all of the pancake breakfasts or talked about all the pancake breakfasts that are happening around the Quad Cities, we might spend three days. But first, <laughs> the self-help enterprises. So this is out in Andrew Stutsky territory. This is out in Sterling. And you can check out their pancake breakfast Saturday from seven until noon. Now, not just the pancake breakfast, but they'll also raise funds with a 50-50 raffle, they'll have a bake sale, craft and vendor sale. So again, jump on holiday shopping there, but it's a free will donation. And so if you want to attend, I know they, they do such a great job over there and they, mm -hmm. they really love the help, so. Oh, yeah. mouth watering right now. And I've been to that I pancake don't. breakfast, it and is so good. There literally is something more delicious about pancakes when they're served up by fire people. <laughs> and that's so. in your neck of the woods, right? Yeah. Right. Oh my gosh. I, yeah, I freaking love uh, pancakes. So anytime I can get them. In fact, if I could get them breakfast, second breakfast, brunch, <laughs> and then for lunch, it would be perfect. I know. So. I know. Breakfast anytime. Yeah. I'm, I'm yes. fine with that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So on Sunday, you could go, you could just travel around and do pancakes because the Orion Fire Department and the Kelowna Fire Department have their pancake breakfasts, which help out the departments with equipment and training and all that. So it's so important. Uh, Orion and Kelowna at their fire stations 
both at the same time, seven to noon. But literally, you could go early to one and then just just travel right around, hit the other one. So it's super convenient. <laughs> You you really want to fill fill yourself up, right? You want to make sure you get get yourself yeah. worth. Yeah. Like, some people go bar hopping. We're gonna go pancake hopping. <laughs> yeah. I you do. know. I do. <laughs> that is the new trend, and we're gonna start it. That's right. This weekend. Yes. Especially with that forecast that we have going on. Yeah. Indoors. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you. All good stuff, and we will see you next week, Danny. Oh, that's a deal. Thank you, gentlemen. Have a great weekend. Happy Halloween. You too.